Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild and we are back with another Space Engineer ship review video. This time I am reviewing something you guys told me I need to review and this is just going to be a down and dirty review. Not because I'm not interested, but because this thing is so friggin' big. I, I'm not going to be able to get it in a 14 minute video. I, I probably can't even get everything in a 30 minute video. Uh, we're talking probably about an hour and 30 minutes of me on this one single ship alone. It is so massive. Uh, anyway, if you do like the content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate y'all's comments, and I try to get to them as quick as I can. Um, <clears throat> but without further ado, let's get started. So, this is the Supercarrier MSI Crescendo. Y'all suggested this in the comments, and so I decided I would just grab hold of it. It's for the largest insurance company in the solar system. It makes sense to have the largest flagship, where the Salvation Class Battleship may take down fleets. The Crescendo Class Supercarrier threatens nations ridiculously fast and able to land on planets with an armada on board. The Crescendo is the zenith of power projection. This thing has a crap ton of bays. Well over 50 bays. Uh, which means you could have well over 50 small and medium weight ships. But it also has a frigate bay. Meaning this thing can bring its own big boy frigate. Armament is 40 Gatlin turrets. 82 artillery turrets. 70 forward rail guns. And two super artillery batteries, meaning this thing can probably one-shot entire space stations if it has to. That's how I see this thing coming in. It's coming into your planet. It one-shots all your planetary, external planetary defenses, and then begins to destroy everything on the ground. Um, <clears throat> has just about... Fuck, there's a shooting range in there? Where the fuck was the shooting range? Oh, well, we're past 90 seconds into the video. Uh, a fighter printer. I didn't. I didn't see that. Observation bridge. Two VIP rooms. Three crew areas with 104 beds. Meaning you can bring two entire servers with you if you could manage it. <clears throat> Good God. Theater and the shooting range. Gravity runway. All that good stuff. Let's see here. We've got refineries. We've got assemblers. This thing's more than capable of taking care of itself. So it, it's using a whole lot of stuff. Uh, crater is Pawnage. I believe that's how you say that. And it uses pretty much every DLC. We're going to like that right now. And this is going to be a down and dirty review because this sucker is so dang massive. I can't even get it inside of my screen. And here you've got the Crescendo. All forward rail guns up front. And just the look of this thing. Th this this ship kind of proves the point of you don't need to detail every single piece, every single square inch of your ship. You can get by with larger ships like this. You can get by with just some sleek, small areas. It's good to scale your details a lot. I have this trouble when I'm, I'm making ships and everything. But we have a large one way. But let's take a look at this thing. First off, starting with this ridiculously gigantic armament here. Holy hell. Um, <laughs> that is going to ruin your day. If you fire on, if you have weapon core and you get this thing to fire on salvo fire, holy crap, you could do so much damage with this thing. Just imagine this sucker salvo firing rapid pace. It's basically a, a dang laser. If you use weapon core, uh, without it, this is just one big giant punch in the face is all it is to your space station. We have a ramp right here for lowering down and allowing ground units. So this thing can carry ground units. It's got a ton of guns. This thing is a turret farm and a half. I'm not going to call this a carrier. I'm going to state that this is probably the first real evidence that in space engineers, you can build a super, a not a super carrier, just a battle carrier that actually works. And that's what this is. It's basically a battle carrier. Continuing on the side, you can just see we've got good amounts of detail where it's necessary. Is this the super artillery thing that they were talking about? Oh my god. That's what I missed. Holy crap. That's going to ruin somebody's day real quick. So there's a super artillery turret for you. We have this massive through deck. I believe that's for the frigate that you can mount in there. And external bays as well as... Uh, engine bays over here which have external which have internalized engine systems 
and I cannot find a way into engineering. That's that's my big gripe. I can't find my way into engineering. There does not appear to be a door, or at least it's so big I can't find a door, which is probably the more reasonable action. This is such a big ship. I can't find a way into the bay, <laughs> into the cargo area where I can get to the frickin' door. But yes, this is the size of Let's do some internal lookings. First off, let's go over here inside of this. I was hoping there'd be some lights or something in here, but no, not really. So you can see here, we've got lots of space in here. Lots of space for ships, lots of space for drones. Uh, is this the way into engineering? Tell me I just now found engineering. Oh, there's a through bay here. That's nice. Maybe engineering is right here. That'd be cool if it was. That appears to be so. So down here, oh, oh, I, f I found engineering finally. I think. <laughs> did I find engineering? I think I did. Like, so under here we've got engineering. We've got all these massive ship uh, thrusters and everything to get this thing to speed. Just very awesome. Uh, the ship this size does create a few issues. Are those? Oh, those just, that's a gravity drive. Oh, that's a gravity drive. That's that. That's really cool. So let's try to squeeze through here get back into this area here we've got the main bay it is huge i mean this this needs some lighting obviously to make it a little bit easier to see around here but we've got internalized i don't know what this is i thought these were turrets at first maybe this opens up the bay and lets people oh i bet that's what it is i bet that's what it is can i go through here yes i can Okay, let's see what that does. Might as well. I mean, I ain't got nothing better to do at the moment. Oh, that is cool. So, yep, we, we have this done. Let's hit that again. And that will close it all up. So that's like a... that's It's like the um, Venator where you open it up and it goes out. And then we've got this massive uh, launch system up here, which you can turn on and launch your fighters with. That's actually pretty cool. So we've got, like I said, you got these big medium weight bays. You've got these smaller bays for ships. You've got areas down here for other vehicular units. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out where the ship printer is at. Because I don't see it. Is that it? No, that's not the ship printer. Somewhere on here, there's a ship printer. I just can't find it because the damn thing's so effing big. Yeah, I'm cursing a lot because I, I'm just having trouble getting around this stupid thing half the time. So we've got a, a deck that goes down here. And then this is the ramp that we saw before up here. You can barely see it as I come into position here. We've got a nice little ramp. This will drop down. And then your entire landing force, which was probably going to be compiled in here can then take off and go down there this is that's that's this forward bay here which is this forward half of the ship let's go up here i kind of want to see what's in this thing okay that's cool so we've got an observation bay or something to the effect here let's go over here let's see where this takes me now, if you're you're sitting here wondering why is Badger moving around like this, it's because there's not any gravity on at the moment, and I haven't found the button to turn the gravity on yet. Big ship, big problems. There are there are several areas like this with these bunks, and I'm I'm just enthralled at just the size of this thing. See, there's there's more like. Hey man, let's just take the whole server and go do a mission. I mean, that's just what this looks like right here. <laughs> We've got a uh, ladder here. We're going to do this the, the fast way. We're going to go here, and up we go. And that will take us up to this nice, very, very well-built bridge. I'm telling you. Just a nice command bridge for dealing with stuff down there. We've got all sorts of stuff. We've got whips, radar... Uh, we've got all sorts of systems telling you what's working and what's not. The only thing we don't have up here is something telling us what the ship looks like or showing us any damage to it. 
Continuing over here, we've got this button system, button panel system over here, in which we can see kind of what's going on in this area. Is there a light here? Ah, did I find lights? I found the lights, ladies and gentlemen. I found the lights. Ah! There we go! I've been looking for that stupid button for so long! Yes, uh, massive ship, ladies and gentlemen. Just Badger just now found the freaking deal. Now if I can just find gravity, we'll be set. But, going along over here, we have this area, which is pretty much just a airlock to go out to the outside. We'll be heading there in just a minute. Things are color-coded, so you know where to go and where not to go. Heading up this direction, we're going to find the lounge area. We also have medical down here, which is just the nicest looking medical bay I've ever seen. I, I say I'm, I'm very impressed with it. And going up even higher, you are here at the second crew quarters area. This is for more engineering staff, I suppose. But just a big, big honking ship. That's all this is. It's just a gigantic ship you can just have some fun in. Uh, like I said, you can take everybody in this ship. This is the this is what you use to assault planets with. Now, if I could just find the damn gravity, we'd be okay. But I can't find the gravity right now. Over here we have the two conference rooms. You can see great use of of the wood flooring, by the way. We have more beds and this is this is actually a very important thing strategically the survival kit being here very important because you're going to see this on the other side too probably in the second conference room and i'll explain why that's very important it's important to have a survival kit this close now i'll show you why because then you just got to respawn and you're right back in here onto this and we'll be back here in a minute because I want to go look at that big bay. Now that it's all lit up. There. Good lord. What is, wait, what is that back there? Is that something? Oh, I didn't see this. Oh, this is this is nifty. Where is this? Oh, this is the disco room. What the hell? I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> oh, I just found this one. Oh, that's right above the conference room. How the... Never mind. I'm not even going to ask how I missed that. Alright, we've got that there. Is there. We got a club right above the uh, launch bay here. <clears throat> quite quite, quite a, a nifty little idea. Not the design I would choose, but hey, it's not my ship. Alright, we're going to hop out here real quick. And we're going to take a look at this big giant bay in here. Because as you can see, we've got this ginormous bay here. It looks amazing. And you can just imagine putting a gigantic ship here. Like a frigate. Coming in here. Locking itself down. And then you jumping where you need to go. And then everyone loads into the frigate and takes off. But let's see how fast this thing is. Because that's something I know y'all are interested in. How how effective is this thing in a combat scenario? I mean, it is a nice, massive looking ship. But let's go over here and do this real fast. Check this thing out. See how fast she can move. We've got to know. We have to know. I still haven't found gravity, by the way. This would be a lot easier if I had the gravity button. <laughs> just, just saying. This would be a lot easier if I could find a gravity button. I could go into the system and, and look, but we're already this far, so. Okay, so here's another thing. <clears throat> the ship is so big, I cannot get far enough away from it to get a good shot. So we're going to be going back outside the ship here in a minute. <clears throat> but anyway, powering up all the systems, we're going to be watching here. This thing has internalized thrusters, and I think... I'm not sure what that does. We'll turn that off for a moment. Okay, all the lights are on. 
But you see here, we're picking up speed rather rapidly. Now, the other problem is... Uh, turning is a problem. <laughs> so, you're not going to... It can it can get going fast. It's basically a drag racer. It's not gonna go very quick. So you're you're kind of you're screwed when it comes to running this thing that speed. So you're not gonna be able to just punt. You'd be able to punch it and go, and you'd be able to slow down. But maneuvering it is not maneuverability. It it does not have. I would say a Nimitz probably has more maneuverability than this thing does. Uh, but I'd have to do some testing just to make sure. Anyway. Yeah, you can see right here, I'm I'm trying to turn it, and it is just very, very slow on the turn. It is very slow, as a ship should be. As a ship this size should be. I'm not, I'm not knocking the design at all. It should be hard to maneuver this thing. This thing should be difficult to maneuver, and it, it should take time to turn and everything else. But, yeah, I would say this is probably a very good... No, actually, I would say this is a very good battle carrier. I wouldn't call this a carrier. Um, Ponage, you need to rename this thing to battle carrier because that's what it qualifies as. It's got all the guns. It's got all the equipment. And it is it is basically a carrier that can still do battle with other ships. That thing's rail guns and the artillery cannons it has alone qualifies it as a battle carrier. So I will officially declare this thing a battle carrier. This is the first real battle carrier we have brought onto the channel. And probably the first real battle carrier I've ever seen. Look at this thing. Look how massive this sucker is. And the detail work in it is amazing. I absolutely love this as a, a ship design. I, hopefully I can build something this big at some point in time in the future. And it, it'd be just as cool. Not not look like a giant floating brick. But the shape, the design of this thing... i got to get that right angle in there. And it is so hard because this is such a monster. But yeah, here you go. That'll work. This thing this thing is, is massive. I love it. I love the size of it. I love the scope of it. I love the design. I, I like how the bays are built. I like that through deck in it. I have some questions about the disco room above the command area. That seems a bit counterintuitive. I still didn't find the gun range, and I did not find the gravity button on this thing, but hey, it's a big ship, and it's got some ridiculous levels of firepower. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will do more videos like this in the future. Leave me a suggestion. If there is something you've seen on the workshop or there is a ship that you have that you think is cool enough, either suggest it in the comment section or suggest it on the Discord because I do have the Space Engineer Discord. I do look at that. There are some ships and builds I am currently trying to find on there because the problem I have <clears throat> is the system, the way my computer works is instead of just going to the Steam store, in the Steam system so I can download it directly to the system. Uh, it keeps wanting to take me through the internet, and that is an issue. So if y'all got something that you want me to review, make sure it's first in the store, but then also tell me what the name of it is so it'll be easier for me to just search it and look it up. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye for now.